Hi, everybody. I'm Dr. Jane Montero. Thank you for joining me on my YouTube channel called Digital Design to the Rescue. I'm going to be sharing with you lessons I've taught over the last couple of years using Chromebooks, and I'm also going to bring in new ones that I've planned for the coming year ahead. So welcome, sit back and relax, and here we go. Episode number five, Dragon Eyes using Google Draw. The best way to begin this project I found is to have students research online and look up Dragon Eyes. This is just a quick snapshot of the kinds of images they'll find. Students select their image and then they're going to put this into Google Drawing and we're going to be drawing on top of it. And I'm going to go through all of these steps in just a moment, but I like to preview everything with my students first. Students will be using the curve line tool and the polyline tool to create the eye and we'll fill it with the gradient tool. In Google Draw, there are two different kinds of gradients. There's radial, which is like rays of the sun, like the blue one you see. And there's linear, which is the one on the right with red and orange. And those are like lines on a piece of notebook paper. And I have students zoom in and really work at 200% or even more they can click zoom in to go in higher. It's really difficult to see some of the tiny areas that they're trying to recreate. Another tip is once they've created a shape that they like, copy and paste it and place it wherever it still fits in with that same shape. You can see I've done that here. This just shows students as they're working, they can remove the photo and check it out and see how it looks. And when they're finished, they delete the photo. This is not finished yet. And here is one of my finished examples that I like to show students before they start so they can see where it's headed. All right, here are three superstar student examples, and let's get started. All right, let's get started with our Dragon Eye composition using Google Draw. So I've opened up a Google Drawing file. I'm gonna come over here and click the box that says Untitled Drawing. I always tell my students, let's do this, let's name these files, Dragon Eye, okay? Now let's find an image of a Dragon Eye. So you're going to go to your toolbar next to the text box is the insert image. Click that. We're going to search the web. And what are we going to search for? Dragon eye. Well, let me spell that right. There we go. All right. Find one that you like. I'm going to click this one down below here. And then you click insert. So I need to really just crop in on that eye and some of the surrounding area. The rest of it we don't need. So to crop an image, you have a couple choices. If you do not have a mouse, if you're just using a keypad, you can click this function right up here that says crop image, and that will give you a black line around it. If you do have a mouse, it's going to look the same, but just double click. And now I've got that line around it. So we're going to take a bottom corner and I'm going to go way, way up. And I'm going to take a top corner over here and I'm going to come way, way down. Move this. Let me see how this is going to look. I'm going to bring this up a little bit more. And a little bit more. And maybe a tiny bit more. That's looking pretty good. Now I'm going to click out of there. There's my space. Okay, but we need this to be a lot bigger. So now let's drag a corner and see what happens. Okay, so you want to work at 200%. So what that means is you're going to go over here to view and you're going to go to zoom and we're going to go in 200%. Okay, if that's not enough, you can go to view and you can go to zoom and I can go zooming in even more. Okay, now this looks pretty blurry, but you know what, that's okay, because it's going to be my own creation and I just needed this underneath as a guide. So here's how we do this. You're going to come over here to where it says select line. And we're going to start with the curve line tool. And we're going to start with the eye. So I'm just clicking and if you know the curve line tool, every time you click, you can change the direction. Boom, back to the beginning. What color do I want that? Well, you can be more specific to the picture. So in other words, if I click the photo and I go arrange, order, bring to front, that's kind of a reddish, brownish, purplish. 
the center part that's black, I'm going to do that with a separate piece. So arrange, order, get that photo to the back now. All right, so let's go to our fill bucket. So let me click the shape, go to the fill bucket. We're going to do a gradient. We're going to do a custom gradient. So it defaults to linear. So we're going to make this radial. And the center one, I'll do black. I'm going to add a stop. Go back to the circle. Maybe I make this kind of a purplish color. I'm going to go to the last one. Go to the there. Maybe I go to there. And now I'm going to click OK. So there you go. OK. You don't need a black line around it. It's going to default to putting a line around it. So let me go to that border color and make that transparent. OK. Now, I do want to get the pupil in there with a little bit of a reflection. So how do you do that? Come back up here, stick with my curve line tool, and I'm going to draw on top. I'm going to kind of follow what I did in black, to be perfectly honest. And I'm going to fill it gradient black. I'm going with the one that's already provided because I think that that'll help the curvature of it a little bit. So let me check that. Come back over here, click the arrow. Click the photo, arrange, order, bring to front. Ah, it's got a white line around it. Mm -hmm. So maybe I want to do that. Arrange, order, send it back. Click my shape. Go to the border. Make that white. Okay, why not? All right, so let's say you like that part. Let me show you the next part. Um, what I have students do from here is go to your curve line tool. Pick any shape that you can see. I'm going to start on the left of the eye over here. OK, get rid of the border. Go to your paint bucket. I'm going to do a gradient with yellow and green. And I want this to be radial. Click a dot, yellow, add, green, go to the end, darker green, OK. All right, now what can I do with that? I'm going to add a drop shadow. How do you add a drop shadow? Go to the select tool, go to format options, drop shadow, open up that box. Okay, you can play around with this. See how that's showing up? I'm going to make this purple so I can see it. Okay, and you can move the distance. See that? See how it's changing my shape? You can change the angle. I can move this uh, below, okay? So when you've got one you like, what I tell students to do is, if you like that shape, control C, control V, and we can move this around. Sorry, I didn't pick it up. Control C, control V, there we go. Bring this down, okay? So, you know, you can do that. You can turn these, you can make these smaller. You want to change up your shape, control C, control V, and just start placing these around. Every time you get to a different shape, you can make a new shape, copy and paste it. Like, see this part over here? Curve line right over here. I'm on the left. These are more like little round shapes. Okay, if I like it, control C, control V, and I can just fill these in around. It's going to keep that drop shadow until I change it. Okay. So let me get back to this one. This is one that I did. And you see, I kept going back and forth and adding things. When you're finished and you add this background to it, if I click the background, there's that, okay? So when you get done and you get rid of your photo, what I tell students to do is come up here, get a background shape going. If they're using Chromebooks, they can double tap and a background option will appear. OK, what am I going to do with this? I'm going to get rid of the border. I'm going to come over here to gradient and I'm going to pick some really cool gradient back behind there. Let's do a new one. Let's do a custom and let's start with radial. Let's say I go with yellow. Let's say I go with blue. Let's say I go with dark blue and I click OK. OK, arrange, order, send it back. And there you have it.
okay? It's as easy as that. Students love doing these. They're a great way to get students um, excited about digital design and they come out with something that's really cool. When they're finished, file, download, JPEG or PNG is what I have them do, okay? The other thing I wanted to show you is how cool these look on a Jamboard. So give me just a sec and I will show that to you. This is one of the Jamboards from a homeroom class that I had this past year. And what I love about this project is that it does allow for a lot of individual creativity. Students chose the eye they wanted to use. They chose their color scheme. They were able to use gradients however they chose. And it really turns out great. I have students looking forward to this assignment the minute they walk in the art room. When are we doing Dragon Eyes? So I wanted you to see that. And as always, thank you.